Hello and welcome to Vacations by Tiffany. I'm your go-to travel agent for all things cruises, Disney, and much more. In this episode, I'm taking you with me to Space 220 at Epcot. This is a new restaurant that just opened in October of 2021 to celebrate Walt Disney World's 50th anniversary. The celebration is going on for about a year and a half, so now would be a great time to visit Disney World. After you check in, you're ready to board the Stellavator and travel at lightning speed to reach the restaurant at 220 miles above Earth. But don't worry, the trip only takes one minute. Roger Centauri, standing by. Welcome aboard the Stellavator. In just a few moments, you'll be on your way up to Space 220 aboard the Centauri Space Station. Enjoy the ride. And just like that, we're there. When you arrive, you'll pass the Grow Zone where you'll see the Gravity Vegetable Greenhouse. It kind of reminds me of the Living with the Land boat ride that's also in Epcot. I wanna mention that reservations are highly recommended and you can make those reservations 60 days in advance. Now you may have to try a few times, but it's doable. It's a pretty big restaurant and every table has a great view of Earth and the various things happening outside around the space station. Keep your eyes open because you never know what you'll see, like astronauts out on a spacewalk. When you sit down, you can scan the QR to get the menu on your phone or of course you can ask and get a paper menu to glance over. At lunchtime, they feature a two course meal with an appetizer and a main entree. You can choose from things like a mozzarella burrata, an antipasto plate. There's calamari, fried cauliflower with hot sauce and blue cheese. And right here, actually, I caught the end of a lightsaber battle. So like I said, keep your eyes open. Okay, back to the menu. There's also tuna tartare, a Caesar salad, space greens, a quinoa grain salad, and then for your main entree choices, there's yellowfin tuna, salmon, a really awesome looking burger, a flat iron steak, chicken, a yummy vegetarian pasta dish, or a vegan bolognese dish. And those are just your choices for lunch. I haven't even gotten to the dinner menu yet. But first your server will come around to take your drink order. If you order one of the zero proof cocktails, like I got the Moon Rocks here, it comes with a set of exclusive Space 220 trading cards. There's five in each set and I've been told that there's one that's really hard to find. So you never know what you'll get. And on the back of each card, they give you some space and science facts about the restaurant or life without gravity or just fun facts about space and space travel. I think it's a really fun souvenir. For dinner, they offer a three course meal with appetizers, a main entree, and this time they offer dessert. The menu has everything I mentioned earlier for lunch, but also added roasted duck or filet mignon to choose from. And for dessert, there's lots of delicious options. There's carrot cake, a sticky toffee pudding, chocolate cheesecake, gelato and sorbet, and a lemon mousse. There's also a kid menu for the little ones. In addition to lunch and dinner, there's sides and what they call flight bites, like appetizers. 
We had a few of those, like chicken and waffles. There's also Brussels sprouts and some fingerling potatoes, and they were all really good. There's also short rib sliders and a lobster roll, which I think I wanna try next time I'm there. There's also a huge drink menu with specialty cocktails and a very large wine and beer selection. I'll have to come back another time to give their Stargarita a try, or maybe the Planetary Rum Punch. If you want more Space 220 fun, stay tuned here and to my social media because I'll be sure to visit again and take you along with me. Well, this definitely goes down as one of my favorite restaurants at Disney World. I'll be sure to visit again. Thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe. And if you want to go to Disney World and eat at Space 220, please visit vacationsbytiffany.com to get started. See you next time.